Okay, I'm gonna show you how to um, clean the clutch up. Usually on all machines, this should work and it should stop every time, as, as that one is. But I'm just gonna show you in case you have it spinning all the time, this is how you fix it. First thing you do is you remove your knob from here in the front, take the set screw, lo loosen, take that off. Then you pick up on the cover, from the, pick up your arm, pick this up, take this off, and move this to the side. Okay, then we're gonna work right here on this clutch. Okay, on the clutch there, see if we get around here with our camera. We're gonna take this off right here first. This is the, the screw that keeps it from spinning, the electrical part. So you take that off, there's one screw there with a nut on it. Then you take off the two screws right here on the side. Okay, your wrench set should have everything you need for it. Okay, loosen that up there. And you loosen it up here. Just loosen them up. You can slide and let that down like that. Then here is where the part that you want to clean. So you push the shaft in a little bit slowly. Be careful with your clutch, holding it in, in your hand. This is the clutch itself. There's a little brass washer you want to make sure you have. And these are the things you want to clean. If you notice, when we run these machines, they'll get a little bit of buildup here, there, and in the clutch here. So what I do is I take a little bit of emery cloth, like this, and I clean this up real quick, just to make sure it should be nice and shiny, okay? I take the emery cloth, clean it up, just to make sure. This one's pretty clean, but just to make sure. Then I take a little bit of solvent, our solvent here, the CC509, Take a little bit of it, clean the shaft up, just to make sure it's nice and clean, no debris. Okay, so that should be nice and clean as you see right there. Then I do the same thing to the clutch. This one's brand new, but it should, even on yours, if you ever have this issue, you take the clutch and you fold it up a little bit to make it go into the hole. And then usually I just clean it up real careful, being careful not to drop the clutch, because if you drop it, it will bend. So you don't want to have that happen. You clean up both sides. Make sure it's nice and clean inside. Then you take your rag again, you clean it all up, make sure the inside is clean, okay? And then once that's clean, I'm looking at the rag there, it's all nice and clean. I put my shaft back in, but I check it. I put the clutch on and it should spin nice and freely like that, okay? Once that's, I take that off again, I put my washer back on. Then I take my belt and the clutch and I put it all onto the machine, okay? Turn it on, make sure this is on right here. And that goes on nicely. Usually it's easier if, when I turn this on, I, you can turn the machine on and it'll push it right on for you, okay? That, that turns the clutch in. Then I make sure it's in all the way, okay? So that's on. The bushing should be showing there and you have this little plate. So you make sure that's facing out. Then you put your clutch on, make sure the wires go underneath so they're not in the way. And then you tighten this up. You wanna make sure it's flush with the shaft. See, so right there, that should be all nice and flush. Tighten it back up, the two set screws. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Now you take this screw here and you put it right into the hole there. Make sure it goes into the, the proper hole there. And then you take your wrench set and you tighten it up. Now, when you tighten this up, you have to make sure that there's always a little place. So it should stop. If not, you can lock the nut in a little bit to stop. So it stops before it gets there. So it should have a little play. See like that? That should be good. And the whole shaft should have a little play, not a lot, a little bit. And you should see here, there should be a little tiny gap right in between it. Okay, it's very small, but there should be a gap there. So when you turn the machine on, see, that's not turning until you hit this. See, and then it spins. So usually when the shaft is spinning all the time, that's the problem. Something got in there, a debris or even glue, something got in there where it went inside and that's how it's sticking. Now, you should also make sure that when you have this, it should only spin that way. If it's spinning this way, that means it's too loose. So you need to tighten it up. So what I do is I take this, my wrench set, take the screw right here, okay? That is slotted, you can move it forward or back. So I move it so it touches the feet tire, put a little bit of pressure on it, okay? And then I tighten it up. 
Okay, so now it should spin that way, but it shouldn't spin this way. See, that way only. And that's good. So that's how you want to set it up. So now when you turn it on, it should work properly. Depending on what your time is in front, it should be minimum at four in the front in time. You can make it four to five on the long label, but most of the time I start off at four and that's good. Okay. So it goes and stops every time. So that's how you do it to fix it when that's spinning all the time, okay?